hurt by a friend or hurt by a stranger? None of them. Just just imagine having one hand cast over your mouth, restricting any possibilities of self. Mm. And the other one with a knife to your throat. Mm. Would you rather look up to eyes that you recognize? Mm -hmm. Or eyes that you have never seen before? Mm. Levi Harrington was my friend. Mm. I believed him to be. We were not playmates. No, he respected my space and I respected his position. But he was very kind. Protective even. They tell me it's called grooming. I was always placed at the front of the line with extra provisions in my sack. They tell me it's my fault that I should have known there was a price to pay for every cut of meat, for every time he called me friend, for every kind gesture. I once thought that the worst thing that could happen to me would be taken by a stranger. Just imagine, you know, raped and abused. Knowing that at any point, one wrong move and that's it, I could die. Hmm. But I was wrong. God, I was so wrong. It's far worse to be violated by perpetrators you once called friends. Mm -hmm. Men who you know will not only let you leave, but your need for food guarantees your silence. Mm -hmm. Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. Oh, sorry, I started. No, no, I was just uh, daydreaming. Right, and uh, what brings you here this evening? You know that there won't be another food distribution until tomorrow, right? Oh, no, I, I know that. I'm here to see Mr. Levi. Is, is he here? I can check his office. Is he expecting you? Do you have an appointment? Or... No, yes. No. Well, I, I don't have an appointment, but I would be very surprised if he didn't expect me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Levi's a very busy man. You are aware of this. Uh, he's always looked out for you, treated you well, Giving you the finest cuts of meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do anything to spoil that, do you? I, I just need to speak to him. Just two minutes. I'm sorry, he's unavailable. You haven't even checked. I checked. Oh come on. I said he's unavailable. money and that you spend it wisely because if I ever hear that evil accusation again 
It will be the last time that you get anything from Regal. No food. No shelter. Not even medical supplies. And we'll see which of us dogs ends up in the dirt first. A smoking gun. Mm. A threat and an ultimatum. Yet no signs of remorse. Mm. Unethical, immoral, and not to mention criminal. Mm -hmm. I think we've seen enough to justify a formal investigation by the police. Mm -hmm. Naturally, it would be inappropriate for Mr. Harrington to continue his role at Rebuild UK under the circumstances. In truth, I think that Mr. Harrington's position has become untenable. What? This? This is a complete lie! Well, I've been with Rebuild UK for over 15 years. And in all of that time, there has never been an accusation of inappropriate behaviour against me or any member of my team. And now, some random woman, a, a child with a chip on her shoulder and an axe grind for God only knows why. My team, they bent over backwards to ease suffering. They have gone the extra mile. <coughs> to us, they're not meaning numbers, they're real people. We treat them with dignity. We always have and we always will. They're not merely statistics. Check out my, my records in DRC, Rwanda, Louisiana, Mississippi. Results, commendations, appreciation. I have built this charity with my bare hands. I have brought God to thousands. I brought hope where they had none. And now you want to listen to the lies of some feckless reprobate over mine. My only crime was to befriend her when no one else would, to build up her self-confidence and her self-esteem. A random woman or a stranger? Because according to what you just claimed, she's all three. Listen, Matt wasn't there. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was alone in the yard. I, I was, you know, sorting out the stores. Sophia, well, she appeared out of nowhere. She startled me, actually. Oh, it was just the two of you. Yes. No. No, no, Matt wasn't there. Uh, <laughs> Sophia, she didn't come alone. She brought a friend. A friend? And who was she? I have no idea. I've never seen her before in my life. Oh, hey! <laughs> you should not sneak up on someone like that. Well, I thought you liked surprises. Oh, I do like surprises. <laughs> but one man's surprise is another man's... Shock. <laughs> what brings you here today? Surely there are far more um, interesting things you could be doing? Not really. Okay. I would ask your friend, uh, but we haven't been uh, introduced. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Levi, pardon my manners. This is my friend, Pixie. Pixie? The I've been telling you about. I've heard a lot about you. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to meet you, Trixie. <laughs> it's Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> and what have you been telling your friends about me? Oh, it has all been true. Good. I didn't say it has all been good. <laughs> you are in a strange mood tonight. Did you want anything in particular? Because I really must get back to these stores. I told you it would help. How can I help 
If you both stand there with your mouths closed, how can I possibly help? And I will. But we have to be discreet. Because your brothers aren't registered, no one can know that I'm helping you this way. But I can't refuse the request of a friend. Meet me after dark. When all the other workers have gone. Because your brothers aren't registered, no one can know. Thank you so much. I'll come tonight. Thank you. Thank you. That is what friends are for. <laughs> No one can know that I'm helping you this way. But I can't refuse the request of a friend. Thank you. I'll come tonight. Come alone. Oh. <laughs> That's what friends are for. <coughs> I will see if I can find a little something for you too, Miss If there's anything else I can do, I know you can buy it. Make sure she comes alone. Mm -hmm. No one must know. My lips are sealed. Thank you.
beautiful, isn't it? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, but I wanted to join you. I've been watching you a while. Uh, sh shouldn't I be here? Yes, of course. It's, it's a public beach. Uh, not that you know it. I like the quiet. You know, everybody seems to prefer Sansa, okay? More fool than them. With all what this country's been through in the past six months, it's, it's a wonder that God has left a little corner of beauty to remind us the world is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. Is it? It can be if you, we let it. I'm not sure anymore. Hmm? If God does exist, he's busy looking after tech giants and the oil-rich companies in the developed world. He hasn't got those for us. No, 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 it's not God while we have first and first, well, third world countries, no. It's our choices that we make, our avarice, our hubris, our lust for power created that. You see, in this world, you have the conquerors, and others are the conquered. Thanks for that, I feel much better now. Oh, no, no, what I meant to say, oftentimes, we give God bad press when it's not actually his fault. So did corporate greed cause the tsunamis, hurricanes, volcanic eruptions and earthquakes that keep your charity in business? Mm. Ah, <laughs> you've got me there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You recognise me from the charity news centre? Yeah, I'm there every day. I see you every day. Mm. I even get a little bit worried when you don't turn up at your usual time. I have something for you. I I've had it a while. I was just waiting for the right time. Beautiful, isn't it? Sorry, let me disturb you. But I wanted to join you. I've been watching you a while. Shouldn't I be here? Of course. It's a public beach. Not that you know. I like the quiet. That's why I like it here. Do you often come here alone? No. Or do you come with friends? Alone, that way nobody disturbs my thoughts. Ouch. Look, I was just trying to be friendly. Sorry. I'm not very good at people. Perhaps you just need a little bit more practice. Maybe. I have something for you. I've had it a while. I was just waiting for the right time. Don't look all suspicious. It's what friends do. Just wait and see what I have for you tomorrow. What do you mean? I might not be here. I don't want you to think. I see you haven't thrown it away then. I wouldn't, it's beautiful. Uh, you, you don't need to do that. I'm just creating memories. It's not your brain as well. <laughs> Hence the camera.
Here, I have bought this for you. Open it. You can, here. Let's try it on. I, I, I can't.
Anyway, I wasn't on the beach, so I don't know what he's talking about. What? He never said it happened on the beach. He's coming from the beach. He mentioned the beach. You made me sick, Samuels. All right, so I was there. But there was no assault. Oh, let me get this clear. You were on the beach. It was broad daylight. What sort of animal are you? No, no, no look, we only talk. Oh, fix it. Shut her up. Or I'm giving you back to the United Kingdom. Overwhelming, isn't it? I know. I, I know. Pixie, you know that. Fear is a terrible thing. And in my experience, the fear of, of something is usually always much worse than the thing itself, you know? A new job. Relocating country, the dentist. Rape. Assault. Coercive control. Give me a new job at the dentist any day. I'm just, I'm just saying that being unsure and 
being nervous, being afraid, it's all normal under the circumstances. I understand your analogy, Miss Nelson. We're poor. We're not stupid. I know that anger. That anger's good. But channel it. Don't let it inside. It will eat you up like a cancer and it will destroy you. Mm. Look, thank you for everything that you're doing. I really appreciate you coming down here and trying to help. Well, then give a statement. Come on, let's put Levi away. Let's put him away where he can no longer cause this pain and do this damage. And what is all the what happens to me? To my brothers. Win or lose, you go back to your office and scan the news feeds for the next cause to fight for. The next Levi Harrington to lock up. The next pixie to be photographed with and appear on the front cover of the phone press. I'm just a number to you, Miss Lansing. No, look, what you're doing here is a, it's a great thing, but let's not kid ourselves one moment and pretend that you are doing this for anyone other than yourself. Oh, Merle, Merle, nothing could be further from the truth. I have been where you are. I have walked a mile in your shoes and I wish, I wish someone had spoken up for me. Someone, just one word, but no, they knew what was going on and they remained silent. Levi Harrington hides behind silence. He thrives on silence. Come on, Sophia's speaking up. Others are coming at your voice. Don't do it for me, but do it for yourself, please. And if we lose? With your testimony, we won't lose. We'll win. Can you guarantee that? I'll win. Can you guarantee that? Yes. And that's why I'm not coming with you, Miss Lansing. You can't be honest with me. You can't guarantee that you'll win, but you say just about anything. Mm. I'll tell you what I can guarantee. I can guarantee that there'll be another hurricane. There'll be another earthquake. There'll be another prop pain, and these things I can guarantee. Mm. And if we lose, and Levi Harrington is in charge of shelter, food and medical supplies, What do I do then? Mm. What do I tell my brothers? <laughs> what will I then have to give up and trade just so that I can survive in this inevitable disaster? One of the main things my father taught me, Miss Lansing, is that you never gamble more than what you can afford to lose. I have too much to lose. So, so Levi Harrington gets away with rape again. And again, and again, and again. At what point do we say stop? What point do we say enough is enough and hold him accountable, huh? What point do we say you've got to pay for your crimes? He's in his grubby little office now laughing at us. He's planning his next attack on his next batch of vulnerable women because you're right. There will be another crisis, there'll be another disaster, and Levi Harrington, you bet he will be there. But this time he'll be there because you refuse to cooperate. You refuse to speak up. There's going to be another victim. But this time it's on you. She is going to be on you. I have to go now, Miss Lansing. There are three boys with wide mouths and hungry bellies waiting for me. And if I don't feed them, that will be on me, not this. This? This is all about you. Goodbye, Miss Lansing.
The others were scared too, but they got through it. Just tell us your story. I will protect you. Don't elaborate. Don't try to make it any more interesting or worse than it already was. Just tell us what happened. I don't remember. You do. Just tell us what you told me earlier. I don't know. Where's Miss Lansing? She'll be here in a minute. You'll be fine. Problem? and she's clammed up. Oh. The state she's in, she's useless to us. Mm -hmm. But we've been through it with her a few times. Once she gets inside, she'll be fine. To be honest, I have credibility concerns and I'll be the one with egg on my face if she starts to unravel. I will speak to her, she'll be fine. Do that, because I'm not convinced.
love of God, woman, can't you see that you are destroying every good thing that charities and faith organizations have ever done? Do not kid yourself that this will remain within the borders of Rebuild UK. The left-wing militant agnostics will have a field day. Their entire existence is hinged on them destroying the credibility of any altruistic organization. You're hanging them. Our heads on a platter. What good is served by that? I can't do this. I can't speak against Brother Levi to hurt the church. Oh. Brother Levi saved my life, and now you're asking me to destroy his. Will someone tell me what we're doing? The debate back here is great. Marks. But I'm the one out there that's going to look like a fool. Bishop, 
Hmm? Where were you when Samuels and Harrington was flagrantly abusing your flock? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure I appreciate your tone. <laughs> <laughs> I made it clear that neither I nor the church had any knowledge of any misbehavior by any member of Rebel UK that could be considered criminal or inappropriate. He should go down. I detest and denounce Levi Harrington's behavior. And as a show of support and to appear transparent, whatever the outcome of this investigation, we have removed. Levi Harrington and his SLT out of the field. They will no longer be on the front line, exposed to those pressures facing those temptations. I hardly think that that is the I answer to- I do not give a tuppence what you <laughs> You have no idea who I am or I am. You and your kindly but every opportunity to take pot shots at the good benevolence of organizations like ours. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> Levi Harrington is a bad apple, but he's not representative of the barrel. You don't see that. You will not say that, because it's not part of your agenda. So go on. Throw me a grenade to rebuild UK. Boom! Boom! Bring down the church! But who's going to pick up the pieces of the lives broken by capitalism and corporate greed? People like you. <laughs> I don't think so. Go have your day in court. You bring down Harrington. But that's only a battle. I still have to fight a war. A war with these young women's lives and their future. <coughs> Ladies, I heard your statements. But I <laughs> suffered in your testimonies. Your experiences were terrible. <laughs> I am ashamed. What can I do? What could I say, apart from the fact that I am truly sorry? Distanced 
himself from me. He has executed, excommunicated me to all intents and purposes. What are we doing, Connie? Living in the dark ages? And now he's out there with his press aid. Neither I, as an individual, or the church as an organization, have any knowledge of any kind of, of any blah blah onward Christian blah. He is just protecting the organization at all and any cost. That is his job, Levi. Yes. And what about protecting me? You! Oh. Who are you? Maybe we should ask those young, abused girls who you are. Mm. I told them out there, and I will tell the Crown Prosecutors so they don't waste everyone's time. I did not abuse anyone. Mm. How could it You can't hide behind legal language and double speak, Levi. Are they lying? And my lying is the whole world out to get you. The only thing I am guilty of is of caring too much. It's of loving too much. <laughs> you are good. You have been living this crap for so long that you actually believe it. Yes. And you, you who turned their back on God, think they can preach to me. I did not turn my back on my God. I turned my back on yours. And what would you have me do, Connie dearest? Oh, be the path to your door every night, only to be spurned for not being holy enough, righteous enough, or whatever little box you want to pigeonhole me into. Well, I hope you all enjoyed your 15 minutes of fame. Go on. Go on. Because if your only mission in life is to bring down the great Levi Harrington, it says a lot more about you than it does about me. <coughs> Levi, listen to yourself. No one is trying to bring you down. Why would they? Why would I? I, I love you. Even those confused, misguided girls love you. Why would he want to bring you down? Oh, because you're jealous. What? You're jealous of my success. Yeah. You are jealous of how great I am. You heard them out there. Everyone wants a piece of me. Get help, Levi. <laughs> Connie, Connie. We can beat this. Look, if we stand together, we can beat this. And why would I do that? Because you love me. Yeah. And you think that is enough? Well, it can be if we want it to be. Mm. Will you get help? Look, if you retract your statement, <laughs> Connie, I will get help. If you stand by me through any investigation on on to any trial. You are the one that needs help, Levi. And if you can't see that, then maybe Lansing is right. Maybe it is too late for the great Levi Harrington. I said I would get help, and I will. But if only if I am there, by your side, to protect your image. I am not a bad person, Connie. I need you to understand that. You hurt people, Levi. Connie, it was never my intention. So will you get Levi, the world thinks that we are bad, but we're not. We're just broken. And it's a journey in itself to realize that we're not bad. We're not mad. We're just broken. But once we realize that, we can be free to be who we want to be. Whatever God designed and created us to be, but first, we need to heal old wounds. Make wrongs right. And sometimes that job is just too big for us alone. So we need to ask for help, Levi. So 
whether you do that alone or with me at your side, that is not a question for me. That is a question for you, Levi. Get help. Face the truth. End the silence. limitation. We can still get out in front of this if we play our cards right. What mm. cards do we have? We haven't got any cards, Samuels. <laughs> Not even in the game. The game is over. <laughs> oh, Matt. The fat lady hasn't even begun to think. See, she has barely cleared her throat. Levi, this isn't just going to go away. Uh, this is from the man who says, they've got nothing. Were you not just in there? Lancing rolled out a procession of women that all seemed credible and loose enough to convince the CPS that there is a case to answer. So unless either of you can perform miracles, I'd say we're stuffed. I am going to bury Lancy. Alive, preferably. What's our next move? I tell you we're not just going to sit here and wait for the CPS and the police. Oh. We are under investigation. That is how it works. Uh, can't we just uh, apologise? Say we're sorry. Uh, Shed a tear and show a little remorse. You idiot. You are a day late and a dollar short, my friend. Sorry to have kept it in your pants. Then we wouldn't be in this mess. Sorry. Well, maybe if you could have got it out of your pants, Lansing would have given you a bit more respect. Sorry. I'll give you sorry, Samuels. I'll cut out your sorry tongue. Oh, you want to get Lansing to help you with that? Because the world knows you can't do it by yourself. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Stop it! Get your heads in the game! Oh. Is this who we are? Is this what we've come to? How am I supposed to rely on you at trial? The enemy, she's not in here. She's out there. All they have got is their word against ours. Connie, she's going to retract her statement so we can still beat this. Connie? Yes. If I play my cards right. Come on. They want to criminalise us. We don't have to see the world through their eyes. Mm. Come on. <coughs> Which guy doesn't want to be with the best looking girl he can get away with, eh? Mm. As I said, they want to criminalise us for doing the very things that they want to do, and they would do if they had the guts. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, the balls. Hey, oh, really like, I have no problem taking the stand and telling the whole world what I know about you, Samuels. To keep that in the back of that tiny mind of yours, the next time you want to come at me with snide comments. And I have no problem burying you in the same grave as Lancy. Oh, sorry. You need to let that go. Oh, oh, I God. said enough. Enough. I'm going to clear out this office. And if we stick together, we will be back. If we don't stick together, we will end up in jail. Yes. <laughs> no brainer, really. Oh. Oh. Had to be you, didn't it? I'm just basing myself here to finish up your projects. This is not long term. Okay? Well, you got what you wanted. I wanted restoration, Levi. I'm not sure that I got it, to be honest. <laughs> That's like dropping a nuclear bomb and saying, oh, I thought that might create world peace. We'll leave you to it. Do. Um, I'm just going to stay behind and make sure we haven't left anything. Incriminating? Oh, 
This is all just a big game to you, isn't it? No, Matt, this is not a game to me. It's a game to you and your cronies. And you all ask Marianne, Abby, Sophia, the hundreds, if not thousands of other women, if it's a game to them. I think I can comfortably predict they'll say it's not. Now, what can I do for you? What? We both know he's not left anything here, so you stayed back because you want something mm. from me. <laughs> what is it? You know, you're wrong about Reba. Oh, Olivia. You're wrong about Reba. I don't think so, Matt. God, you've been denying it for so many years. Are all these women lying? Things happen that maybe shouldn't have happened, but you make it seem so... Dirty? Ugh. Because it is. Abusive. Because it is. Criminal. Because it is. God, you've been his puppy for so long, even you've become blind to it. Yeah, but why do you hate Levi so much? What did he do to you that was so bad? Oh, Matt. I haven't got the time or the crayons to explain it to you in a way he does. <laughs> Levi Harrington's a soulless predator. He preys on vulnerable women. He needs to be put out of his misery, and someone had to do it. But what about what you're doing? Isn't that just as bad? about Levi Harrington that drives you crazy? Is it that he's successful? Is it that he's powerful? Is it because there are people that will fall at his feet and do anything he asks because of how good he is to them? See, you call that abuse, but some people, they would call that appreciation. Answer my question. Is Levi everything that you want to be? Oh, don't be ridiculous. No, because your whole approach to Reborn is going to some moral high ground, but I don't see any difference between you and Levi. Answer mine. You asked a question, I didn't hear a question. I said, is Levi everything that you want to be? My question still stands. How is my, your non-performance making me a bad person? You know what? <laughs> you are just the same as Levi. Levi Harrington is an abusive sex offender. He preys on vulnerable women in his care, so he should be put, up, put away. Take a look in the mirror, Lansing. You strut around like you own the whole world and need it taking down a peg or two. Now, I'm trying to explain my actions, not excuse them. I had too much to drink. <laughs> Way too much. But my attempt at... Uh, oh, come on! It was more laughable than criminal! And yet your failure, your epic failure, makes me a dyke. Can you hear how ridiculous you sound? You set yourself up as some bleeding, hard liberal fighting against exploitation and abuse. But what did you do to me? I became your whipping boy. Well, I became your snitch. I became your man on the inside. You made me sell out my colleagues. And for what? <laughs> Just to buy your silence. You abused and exploited me at every opportunity. So don't pretend to be the good guy here. For ages. You kept me under your thumb and treated me like some pathetic, weak little boy. Look at you. You are just like Hna. You are the very beast you claim to want to fight and slay. Mm -hmm. You act like some hero of liberation. Yet you subjugated me when no one was watching, you sick, twisted witch! What? You set this whole thing up as if Levi and men prowl around looking for women to take advantage of, but you're no better, Catherine! You are just as evil. And you know what? You are not going to fix this with a change of laws. Taking down Rebel won't fix this any more than knocking you off will fix it. People's hearts need to change. Talking and exposing that behaviour is not the end game. You said you didn't get restoration. You want restoration? Then know that ending with silence is only the beginning. I have become accustomed to shadows. Running away from light. <clears throat> Wide apertures, overexposure. Always viewed through his lens. What care I for this world? Where I'm 
anime pawn in another's chess game, to be sacrificed as they go in search of their queen. Am I not a queen? Am I not worthy of friendship, respect, love? And if all the love I've ever known is taken away, is not that the abuse? If I cannot go to those I love for strength, if they are taken away and locked up, where do I go for healing? Where do I find sanctuary? In the shadows I cannot see a path. So perhaps for me, this is where my journey ends. I spoke out, and I will again. Indeed I must, for as painful as it is, he took my trust. We smiled, we laughed, we played. Then he took me by force, with no backward glance, not a hint of remorse. I will not fall. This is not me. There is so much more I can achieve and be. By his crimes, I am not defined. He took my body, but he could not conquer my mind. So I will live. I am proof the chains are gone. My spirit is the strength I will build upon. I will love, I will trust, and I will relearn to share, and not fear my shadow for just being there. Praise will ring out for my achievements. My victories will be celebrated with applause. My conquests will be recognized and honored, not over my fellow human beings, but over my adversities. This is not a game I choose to play. I will walk my own path and I'll make my way. I know what I want and I will have my say. Win or lose, I will choose. You have found, for disrespect to me, there is a price to pay. So tick tock, yes, the sound of my body clock. We no longer live in the shadows. And ending the silence. 